Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston. I am a certified Zentangle teacher, and welcome to Not Perfect Zen. Um, I had a question on one of my last videos about how to share any tiles or art that you might do. Um, this is my Instagram account. It's at BBL underscore Tangles. And if you post on either Instagram or Facebook, please add that to your post and then I get a notification. Um, this is who I am in the Mosaic app. You can tag me there or you can send a copy of your photo to me at my email address. Okay, so sometimes I forget to mention things like that. And uh, just wanted to share that with you. I am grateful to be here today. And I'm continuing to share the 102 Tangles of Zen Tangle. This is the tile that I did last week. And that is Droop and Fracas. But there's another pattern that's very much like those and it's called Dion. So I am going to show you how to do Dion but I'm going to use it as a reticula which means that I'm going to put patterns inside of the little ribbons that it creates. I think it's going to be fun. I just wanted to do something different. Okay but also I want to focus on the 102 Tangles of Zen Tangle. That poster was what introduced me to Zen Tangle. And as part of being a CZT for five years and with the 20th anniversary of Zen Tangle, I want to finish showing you all the patterns that are on that poster. So today's going to be Dion. And then inside of it, I'm going to put Ambler, Tortuca, Shattuck, and Knight's Bridge. And I'm going to include E-Mingle. I'm not going to show it to you, but it's the same thing as Ambler, okay? Just in a grid. So we will have six patterns in this video. Put these aside. We're going to be using a Zentangle three and a half inch white tile. I have both my, well, that's, uh, that's a Micron 05, which is the same size as a Micron PN. Uh, Micron 01, in case you want to use it. Well, I will be using that one. Um, <laughs> Tortillon, also known as a blending stump with a paper clip inside of it, just so it keeps my tip from getting flat because I am kind of harsh on it. And a graphite pencil. And I usually have my needed eraser nearby. Okay, so I wanna start by showing you uh, how Dion can look on a tile, since we're gonna do this one a little bit differently. It's so easy. This is basically the same as these patterns, okay? Except in this one, if you remember, we added an aura inside, okay? So both of those patterns use an aura inside. This one does not. Okay, and like I'm going to show you today, you could put patterns inside of it. I saw someone who had done this, and I thought it was really pretty to put the orbs around a couple of these rings. And then I just added uh, zinger and fescue just to kind of fill this in and therefore. Okay, so I think it's going to be fun. Let me zoom in. Okay, so basically, like I said, 
we're just going to slice this up like a pie. But I'm going to go ahead and use the whole tile. You can do these straight um, like we did here. You can make your lines a little bit more curvy. You can see the difference between these two. That one's mostly straight. This one's a little bit curved. Totally up to you. This is your art. But just to make this one easy, uh, I'm not going to put a border on this. I'm just going to put these stripes or lines, not stripes. So I'm going to divide it in half this way, and then I'm going to divide it in half again. You could, if you wanted to, just start here at this point and at that point. Okay, <laughs> I do better if I pull it toward me. So that's basically how we're going to divide this up. I am going to use my Micron 05, and now I'm going to ink those lines in. And I think I'll do it just one section at a time. And by doing the diagonal, I was able to get it in the center, but this is very pretty, even if you uh, have the center of it not exactly in the center, if you know what I mean. Okay, so again, we're just dividing this up, and I wanted to use a little bit thicker line, and then for the actual patterns, I'll probably use my O1. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the center and we're going to add just a whole lot of seekers, <laughs> okay? And the more round that you make them, almost like a half moon, the better it looks. So what I mean by that is we're going to have these... Well, V-shapes to fill in, and you can make it go up and come back down. More rounded, I guess is what I'm looking for, and not flat. Okay, this is what we're trying to do. Okay, so, and I have to focus. <laughs> to remember to do that. So this is a simple pattern, but even simple patterns, sometimes we need to focus on what we're doing. So I'm just going to keep turning my tile and adding these C curves. And one may end up taller than the other. Hoping this matches up pretty good over here. Okay, so there's our first one. I'm gonna come out. Oh, about the width of the barrel of my pen and add my next line. And I should have made that one curved. See, told you I wasn't focusing. Okay. These are going to curve better. <clears throat> no mistakes, right? Right. Okay. And of course, you can watch the video and then come back and do it the way that you want to do it. I don't speed up my videos, even though this is going to be very repetitive. Okay, tried to make that line up. 
Now we're going to do the same thing. Come out. I made this one a little bit wider. You can put this pattern when it's small like this, if you're working on a tile and you have an open area to fill. That can be popped in there really easily. It used to be one of my favorite patterns when I was first learning Zentangle. And my focus at that time was mostly on the older classic patterns like what I'm showing you from the 102 Tangles of Zentangle. All right, we're gonna come out about that same distance. Again, see it's about the width of the barrel of my pen. Focus and remember to curve up and down. Once I decided I wanted to put patterns inside of this, I looked on the Zentangle Mosaic app and found where several people had done things similarly, so that was fun. Okay, just take your time with these simple patterns. I love these patterns. Okay. Oh, I hope I wasn't off the screen. But, uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I just want to Make this a little bit darker, this inner flower shape that we ended up with. So this is redefining the line, or you could call it adding weight. And I'm still using the Micron 05. Doesn't matter if they're all exactly the same. Okay. So now I'm going to switch from my 05 to my 01 and the patterns that I'm going to put in here are Tortuca, okay? And this one's very simple in a grid, and the grid doesn't have to be perfect. But it's like putting Printemps inside your grid. So you're just gonna start at the side, wherever, top, middle, come around and touch, and then come inside and then just spiral in and put your big tip. If you end up with extra space, you can always come back and put another line. So again, we just start at the side, come around, add the spiral inside, and then kind of a fescue tip. All right, so that's Tortuga. And I'm just gonna split these in half and put my Tortuga 
inside. Like I said, if you've got a little bit of space, just add another line. Again, just touch the side. Doesn't have to be a perfect orb, not a perfect circle. Come back in and spiral. Add more lines if you need to. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to this one. Just have fun with it. You could fill these with any patterns that you want to. Or with nothing. Okay. Go to this one. I'm doing some of this. <laughs> impromptu. I've practiced a couple of times, but, uh, you know, each time I do it, this string that I have created, string or reticula, uh, changes size. <laughs> so, we'll just make it work. So what is a reticula? A reticula is like a grid, but as you can see, this one is not a square grid. It's just a way to hold your patterns when it's something like this where you can draw like a fragment, draw something individually into each space. So Zentangle has a whole book on reticula and fragments. Pretty cool. Okay. So what I had planned to put in here was Shattuck. And I'm not sure how good that's going to look, but we're going to try it. So this is Shattuck. And... Simply you usually start with like double lines. And some of these you may have seen. You may be very familiar with them. But I'm still teaching the 102 tangles. Um, normally you just kind of make a curve and then it down and then curve back the other way. This is just the way I do it. I know people do it in different ways. I think some people start from that beginning and from that corner. Okay. You just continue like that. And see how <laughs> I don't have the same number of lines in there. It's okay. And the other way that you can do it, you can see here, you can do it with straight lines. But we're not going to put a lot in there because we're going to put them in here. But let's just start from this corner. Come around. And then I'm going to do one like this. And then this may come around again. Let's just fill it in like this. Okay. Since we don't have as much room in the ribbon as I was hoping for, but we'll just make do. Every one of these that I have tried has come out differently. So just play what if. Okay, what if I do it this way? Okay, 
And now we're going to come back up this way. Okay, so that one worked a little better. So I started up here in this corner and made my curve and put my echoes, my auras, and then had one come this way. And then our last one, we're not going to see the whole thing, so it's going to come up that way. All right? Just go with it. <laughs> it's a very pretty pattern done in a ribbon. Okay, and then go back up this way. Okay, so that's okay. It looks fine. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave this section empty and drop down to this one. And the first one I'm going to do is ambler okay and that one again is really simple um, it's not put in a grid you just make a box you can do it with other shapes also okay and then you just go right next to that and do it again. All right. With E mingle, it is done in a grid. Okay, so they are the same pattern, but with E mingle, you start each one of these inside of a square. So we're going to drop down to this outside ring, and I'm just going to try to kind of find center. Okay, so I just came from here and brought my pin down, and then I'm going to divide these in half. Okay, and then I'm just going to come over to this line. I'm going to aura. Just bring it down, back across, and come up, and then turn and just keep going inside. Okay. So that is basically ambler or e mingle. <laughs> If you look it up on tanglepatterns.com, she always shows them together. I think I always forget to mention that you can find all of the published step outs and links to videos on tanglepatterns.com. She has a list of the Zen Tangle Patterns. Okay. I'm going to jump over to this one. I'm looking for center. So I don't think that I have finished even half of the 102 tangles. I'm going to have to total that up when I finish this video since I'm getting several done here. So, 
So if you watched the last video, you heard about my hiking adventure and getting rescued. I mean, it was funny, but um, I'm, I'm sore, but I'm still doing my exercises and I plan to go on a smaller hike again with my daughter next week. She keeps me motivated and that's exactly what I need. Okay, so I divided that. I'm gonna continue with Ambler E. Mingle. These are fun because they're so relaxing. They're so easy to do. The older classic patterns are still some of my favorites because it was easy to learn, easy to remember, and to use when I would create a tile. I enjoy going through those older tiles. I'm amazed by some of them. <laughs> Did I do that? Okay. And if you did the video from last week, you know that adding the shading really makes a big difference on this tile. Okay, reminder to breathe, relax your hand and your shoulders. My hand was starting to cramp. I need to hold my pen more gently. Relax your shoulders. It's funny watching the exercise videos because they always remind you to breathe. Yes, I'm breathing. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're going to put one more pattern, and that's one that you're probably familiar with, and that's Knight's Bridge. Okay, super simple. Sorry, I guess I could turn it. And for this one, we are going to divide this last ribbon in half. I don't have perfect lines, and that's okay. And then we're just going to make some squares. Or close to squares. <laughs> All right. Now, for filling these in, I'm going to switch to my 05. This is a lot of repetitive, but I'll try to not do it too slow. I do not speed up my videos, but you can use YouTube controls. Okay, so do your first square and then follow that corner to know that's the next one you need to do. And that's just how Maria teaches it. With this small band, it's... Uh, easy to figure it out. Okay, just enjoy the inking in. So I did a lot of prototypes on this tile. Some were pretty funny. Well, just because the patterns I tried to put in just didn't work. But I enjoy playing with it. Okay. Deep breath. Just fill it in. 
one square at a time. You can also use a graphic one. Um, I'm going back to my 01 just to make the grid. I think I'll make all the grids and then switch back. Okay. If you are living where it's snowbound right now, I hope that you're okay. Stay warm, stay safe. I am in the Houston, Texas area, so we're far from any snow. Okay, these don't have to be perfect grids. They don't have to have the same number of squares in there. Okay. All right, now I'm switching back to my O five. <clears throat> So, um, Zentangle has a newsletter and they have a blog. And in the last newsletter for the 20th anniversary of Zentangle, they had suggested, you know, starting a journal. And I did. And the prompt for the next page was to write about how you found out about Zentangle. So I was taking a basket weaving class. It was so much fun. Um, at our community college, they have classes for seniors. And so in the evening, with my sister, we took basket weaving, and we did it a couple of times. We really, really enjoyed it. Anyway, at the end of the semester in 2017, there was a display of the classes that were offered. And as I was going down the row for that display, there was the poster of 102 Tangles of Zentangle. So there was a certified Zentangle teacher, Victoria McMillan, who had been teaching Zentangle classes there for a while. And I had, I know I had looked through the catalog, but, you know, if you don't know what you're looking for. Anyway, I saw that poster, and I was just immediately awestruck. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And so I took two photos of the poster, and down at the bottom of it, it says 102 Tangles of Zentangle. And so... I went home and searched the internet for that and found videos. I bought the book, um, one, tang one Tangle a Day. Is that right? One Zen Tangle a Day. And I watched uh, Draw Tangles with Dawn and Melinda Barlow. And I was immediately addicted to it. I, I just had to 
do it every day. I loved it. I had been trying to do meditation and I could meditate, but of course the monkey mind happens and I could never quiet my thoughts. But I did find with Sin Tangle that I, did, I could because I was focusing on the patterns and I was learning so many new patterns. Everything was new. And learning how to just put patterns together. And I was always questioning <laughs> what I was doing and then go back later and it's like, oh wow, did I do that? I still look at some of my tiles and I'm amazed. As a teenager, I liked to look at the magazines and they had these drawings that said, can you draw this? And of course it was trying to get you to buy art courses, but uh, I loved drawing those, copying them. and. For me, Zentangle was a beautiful way to have step outs for patterns to copy. <laughs> I loved it. All right, there we go. Um, I'm going to kind of make a little bit of a circle here in the center and just put some lines just for fun. And then we're going to shade. All right, there we go. That was fun. I enjoyed it. All right, with my graphite pencil and my handy dandy tortillon, we are going to put a good amount of graphite on here. Um, if you were to shade this one individually, Shattuck, you know, you would put shading where these lines meet. Okay, same on here and here. And as far as uh, the others, I don't really do much for shading. You could, but because we have this in a small area, all I'm going to do is shade these lines, but it's still going to be a good effect, okay? But feel free to shade the small patterns if you want. Like I said, I'm putting a good amount because it's going to make a difference when we start using our tortillon to smooth it out or blend it. If you watch the Zentangle videos, I think it's uh, Molly that <laughs> loves to add a lot of shading. I love what she does. I'm not always that brave, but on this one, be brave. If you did the tiles last week, you have an idea of what we're gonna do. It's gonna be blended like that. And it gives it the illusion that the center part is kind of floating up toward you. Makes it look like it's curved. So not floating, but it makes it look like it's curved. Okay. And you can always come back and put more. So with our blending stump, and this is when um, my end will get pushed down. So it's handy to have this paper clip just with me all the time. 
So now I'm just kind of going in little circles and pulling this toward the center. Be gentle down here, don't pull it all the way in. And then just about that far. And then do the other side. I want to have a little bit of white still showing here, but if it doesn't, it's okay. Okay, so I'm just pulling that toward the center, but leaving that white. Okay, so we're going to go all the way around doing that. And I just love how it makes it look. So the weather has been fairly nice here. We bought flowers. We're trying to get our African blue basil to come back because the bees were so happy with it and then it died in the freeze. And you can't get it from seed, so we had a couple of little ones that were in a pot that we saved. We have a pollinator garden, but there's no blooms out there yet. I feel sorry for the bees. I don't know where they go <laughs> when a freeze happens like that, but just overnight their food was gone. Okay, so I'm just trying to blend this out, keep it dark there on the line. And like I said, we can come back and add a little bit more graphite. We can also go over that line again if we think we need to. <laughs> this is cool. I was having fun thinking about this and wanting to show you and being able to have several patterns to show you in this video. All right, we're getting there. Yeah, see, I think we have enough shading on here without worrying about anything else. Just, if you wanted to, like I said, you could add more graphite to make that darker, but I think it's looking pretty good. All right, on the back, let's write down the patterns that we used. We used Dion. Okay, that's that one. We used Knightsbridge. I've been trying to remember to do this ahead of time, but I didn't. Um, we used Shattuck. And Tortuca. Ambler. And Eagle.
Okay, and this is the 102 tangles of Zentangle. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put my chop down here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, it really helps me a lot if you'll hit the like button. And if you share and leave comments, it helps me and it helps other people find my channel this was fun i hope you enjoyed it 102 tangles of zen tangle with the pattern dion used as a reticula i hope to see what you do again you can share it by sending it to me or post it on social media and tag me with that Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.